What is a milestone in life? A milestone is a significant event in your life. Often a milestone marks the start of a new chapter. For example, the day you graduated from high school was a milestone in your life. Milestone literally refers to a roadside marker that lists the distance to a particular location. Well, today I hit another milestone in life. Many of you may never have lived rural, rurally or out in the country or anything like that. You purchase a piece of property or you rent an apartment or you rent a house or something like that, you automatically just show up and there's an address there. And you change your driver's license over, you do this, you do that, and you're all set. I've been procrastinating for a while since we got the property uh, because like we weren't getting mail up at the property. Well, we couldn't because we didn't have an address. And I knew that once we did get an address, it would be just like everything out here. Google Maps will not work. It's mainly for uh, 911 emergencies. They will know exactly where you are uh, based off of coordinates. But for an actual... Uh, actual place for you to go or to be able to map it or anything. No, I'm just past this over that. You'll see two of these trees like this on the right. Uh, you'll see a flag post there. And then uh, you go under this tunnel and then up over this. And I'm going to be there on the right. That's almost how it works out here. If you don't drop a pin in coordinates, you'll never find anyone out here. That's just the way that it is. And today, well, actually a few days ago, it's like, okay, we're going to finally get an address. Uh, football, he just got a new vehicle. He said he wants to officially become an Oklahoman now, and he's going to change his uh, his driver's license from the communist republic of new jersey to oklahoma and i was like oh that kind of lit a fire under me because i've been procrastinating so long uh actually since december uh december my wife wanted for her birthday for me to put a mailbox in the ground like i did Two years prior, I think in 20, uh, 2021, I put a mailbox in the ground uh, for the place, uh, the property that we were staying on over at Bear Camp. And now she was like, well, we've been here uh, for almost a year. I would love for you to put a mailbox in the ground and uh, get us an address and all of this other stuff. So the process to get an address is you pay all this money and then uh, they send out this company to make sure your address is where, I mean, your property is where it's supposed to be, the coordinates and everything. So they can let the police know in case there's an emergency or if there's a fire or anything like that. When you call 911, uh, people will actually show up. So I was so busy to get things done. I finally got the mailbox in the ground in January, I believe. And now it is April 9th. That's what, December, December, January, February, March, April, exactly four months uh, to the day of her uh, birthday, I finally get us an address. Now, a few days ago when I, I, I thought it's like, oh, I need to get this done so football's ID can be to our new address. And then I got to change all of my stuff over my 
driver's license, my uh, gun permit, all these different things. And we go to the place where you, you have to go fill out the paperwork and they have a sign there saying, oh no, uh, we no longer do it here. You have to go to the county assessor. And it's like, oh, well, I, I need to find out what, uh, what the price is now and what the process is and all of that. So finally call up and uh, get transferred around on this phone tree, this person, that person, that person, that person, that person. Finally, I get to someone and they, uh, the guy's like, oh, well, what addresses are around you? I tell them the address to the north of me, to the south of me. And he was like, ah, well, can't really figure it out by that. I was like, well, I know the coordinates. He's like, oh, that's perfect. You have that. We'll be able to set everything up. It's like, okay. So told him the coordinates. He's like, okay, well, this is your address now. It's like, oh, okay. Well, how much is it? Because I, I knew it was uh, like a hundred and so, well, I think 40 something just to get an address and then a hundred and something to get one of those um, metal uh, metal signs with your address on it. And he's like, uh, we don't do that anymore. Well, we don't do that at all because it's the county. We're not going to charge you for that. That's what uh, that other company in business was doing. They were pretty much getting over on on people. But now that we have it back, there's no charge. You get a, a, a piece of property. You let us know where it's at. Uh, and you are all set. So now we have an address. We're going to have to go shopping for uh, or order some numbers that are reflective and all this other stuff to put on our mailbox that I put up a couple of months ago. And we'll, uh, we see UPS and FedEx driving up and down the road all the time. So we'll be able to get mail and uh, deliveries and stuff up there, but it's, it's just another milestone in our lives that we're rooting in. Like this is where home is. This is where our foundation is. This is where my children will grow up. And then it'll be a springboard for them because this property isn't just some place that we're renting that we potentially are going to move and, uh, and just leave it behind. This is going to be their inheritance. So their children can take part in this land and then their children's children. And then we can expand the property. We can do this. We can do that. There, there's just so much, so much with this milestone. Like it, it may not mean much to many, but getting a mailbox, getting an address, being able to call land your own. That's something that seemed like a, a really distant, extremely distant future living back in New Jersey. Shoot, the the property that I purchased was uh, a little bit under 30,000 and property taxes for a quarter of an acre of land in the city in New Jersey where we were living at, it was $16,000 per year for property taxes. So you pay everything out and you still got to come up with 16,000 a year to be able to keep your property so the city or the state doesn't take it from you. You you are always under the gun living in a big city. What what was my property tax this year? I think $2.60. Yeah. And I have 5.2 acres. So out there, it would have been a quarter of an acre, houses touching everything, 
I, I mean, houses touching each other, a uh, parking lot where cars are getting broken into all the time, barely a backyard, barely a front yard, uh, cars flying up and down the road where it's not safe to raise children. And you got to pay 16000 a year in property taxes. And where I am now, my dogs protect my son. Well, my sons. I don't let the little chunk go up to the road, but we go up to the road and go play. People slow down and uh, people wave. The dogs will surround him whenever there's da danger nearby or potential danger nearby. And I paid $2.60 in property taxes. It's a beautiful thing. It's a milestone. Next thing, it's going to be planning out what, what we're going to do with the property, what we're going to shape on the property, and football is back on property, back living on property. Just happy. We got some trees to take down. We have a water tower to put up. Got the rain catchment going. We... Um, going to plan a home site, figure out what we're going to build. I got to redo the driveway. So it's, it's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving pieces. But I'm happy. Checking more off the list. Have my accomplishments from playing semi-pro football. Have my accomplishments with being a professional fighter. In both of those atmospheres, I became champion. Massive milestone, getting married. That's something I thought would never happen because no one in my family is married. Now, sky's the limit. I'm in control of my destiny and the father is guiding me, answering those questions when I was a teen. What do you have in store for me? What is your plan for me? I would pray about that all the time. And now I know. It's not just one thing. It's a whole bunch. That's why I got to keep on the grind, keep striving to be better. Always being truthful and honest to myself and everyone I come in contact with. So with that, thank you for watching me accomplish another milestone in this journey. So many more to go. Shalom.